Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at who is Urien Timber and why he's Ten Hag's number one transfer target for Manchester United. Remember to subscribe if you're new, smash that like button. But anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Utrecht, the Netherlands, on the 17th of June 2001. Urien David Norman Timber is a full Dutch international who plays for Ajax. Timber began his footballing career in Utrecht before being snapped up by Feyenoord in 2008, ultimately moving to Ajax in 2014. After spending six years in the youth setup, Eric Ten Hag gave Timber his senior debut against Herenveen as a second half substitute in the final game of the 2019-20 Eredivisie before the season was suspended due to COVID-19. The following season, Timber established himself as a starter in the first team, scoring his first goal for the club in a 4-0 win over FC Emmen that won Ajax their 35th league title. In total, Timber has gone on to make 74 appearances for the club and been directly involved in six goals and has won six caps for the Dutch national team. He's also succeeded Ryan Gravenberg in winning the Marco van Basten Award or the Ajax Talent of the Year for 2022. But where does he play? Urien Timber is a defender that mainly features at centre-back, although at times he's been deployed as a full-back and even in defensive midfield. He's played his best football for Ajax as a centre-back, but due to Ten Hag's fluid system, Timber has a lot of experience playing in a lot of different positions all across the back line when his side has possession. Meanwhile, without the ball, the aggressive nature of Ten Hag's press means it'll happily follow opposition players into positions that centre-backs tend to feel uncomfortable, such as into central midfield or onto wide areas near the touchline. Timber is happy in these situations thanks to his impressive skill set. A highly mobile player, Timber has good recovery pace and is fairly strong for his size. He's also a good 1v1 defender that reads the game well. Offensively, Timber is a very capable and composed passer that has the technical skills to carry the ball. One of the big things that strikes me with Timber is he is the future of football. As football moves forward with strikers coming off the lines, wingers making those attacking runs, centre halves need to be capable of tracking really fast footballers. But also in terms of the high press, that ability to step out into midfield and have the agility to make that first contact is going to be very, very important. Small, fast centre backs are going to become the norm in modern football one of the days of James Tarkovsky. Anyway, back onto the ball-playing nature of Timber. Playing for an Ajax side that averages more than 63% possession during his two seasons in the squad, Timber spends more time attacking than he does defending. As previously mentioned, he's very good in possession, extremely comfortable on the ball when it's at its feet. Timber can appear to dwell on the ball, but he does this to attract pressure, creating space and passing lanes for his teammates. What's more is that if he lets a presser get too close, he can escape danger with a dribble, throwing a body feint and carrying into space. In fact, in both the Champions League group stages and the Eredivisie this season, Timber has completed more dribbles than any other centre-half. But Timber isn't slow in possession and is happy to play high-tempo passes. Meanwhile, if an advanced teammate is in space, he won't hesitate to find them with an accurate progressive pass. Defensively, he reads the game well and has good positioning. He combines this understanding of the game with an aggressive defending style to step in and regain possession for his side often tackling the intended target before they can properly control, or simply stepping in and making a clean interception. In fact, he's made 134 tackles plus interceptions in the Eredivisie this season, which ranks him second amongst all centre-backs in this season's Premier League. Whilst his active style sees him break up a lot of play, it can put him in trouble. His pace allows him to cover distance quickly, and this can see him give opponents space to operate in. If the player that is receiving is quick, they can bypass Timber with a quick layoff to a teammate. Meanwhile, if the player receiving is a little bit more physical than Timber, they can receive the ball and hold him off with their size and strength. That being said, thanks to the intensity of Ten Hag's Ajax, Timber's teammates often get back to help win the ball back. Even when they don't, Timber still wins duels at a world-class rate. He wins 72% of his defensive challenges, which is more than the likes of Ben White, Ruben Diaz, Manuel Akanji, and Jules Kunde. But where Timber really shines is when defending against the transition, especially in the final third. His reading of the game, speed and aggression sees him identify the out ball before quickly closing the distance and putting in a challenge. Alternatively, if a player is dribbling out, Timber will drop off either to wait for a poor touch so he can step in and make the tackle, or he can cover the space in behind with his speed, either dropping off and making interceptions and ball recoveries or simply matching the ball carrier 
for pace. In fact, the opening goal against Camber not only highlights this, but showcases his talent as a whole. We start with Camber in possession, as Ajax have engaged their press. The visitors manage to play out of danger well, with Banger running onto the ball at speed. Initially, Timber drops off to position himself, but a heavy touch allows him to step in. Timber wins the tackle and breaks the counter press with a dribble. He carries and releases Burkhaus, gets the ball returned and slots the ball into the bottom corner. This is a great goal for the 20 year old, turning a potential 5 on 4 for Camber into a 5 on 3 in Ajax's favour with a well timed tackle and confident dribble. Then he's got the talent to round it off with a striker's finish. So what does the future look like for the Dutch international? After a season and a half of professional football, Timber has already established himself as a key player for Ajax and at just 20 years old has attracted a lot of interest. He could play at all of the top European clubs, with Xavi's Barcelona an interesting proposition. But the most likely destination is following Eric Ten Hag to Manchester United. The Reds need defensive reinforcements. Timber fits this profile, an intelligent and quick cover defender that's very good at progressing the play. Whilst he's not got Premier League experience, Timber has got experience playing Ten Hag football, which could help implement his possession game. He also has the skill set to play right back or in defence and midfield, with Ten Hag suggesting that his future Future could even lie in that area. At 20 years old, Timber is not the finished article yet, but is one of the most talented ball playing defenders in Europe and would be a fine addition to many sides. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Where do you think Timber should be playing next season? Would it be a good signing for Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United? I've been Statman Dave. Subscribe if you do. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?